Okie dokie. Chapter 11 is about current liabilities, stuff that's due within the next year or the next operating cycle. If you're Boeing, you have a long time to make an airplane, and so your operating cycle is longer than a year. But let's just say current liabilities are things that are due within a year. Things like notes payable, sales tax payable, unearned revenue, liabilities created in the payroll process. So let's start with notes payable. The difference between an account payable and a note payable is that a note payable is in writing and includes a charge for interest. So we might be a little bit short on cash and we need some money to buy inventory for the upcoming holiday season. So we go to the local bank and we sign a promissory note. They hand us $100,000 and we return them this written instrument that says we'll pay you $100,000 plus interest on January 1st, 2018. So in the beginning, this note is only going to affect the balance sheet because we're going to have some cash added on and we're going to have a current liability added on to the right hand side of the balance sheet. But over time, after one day, for example, we're going to owe one day's worth of interest. After two days, we're going to owe two days worth of interest. Interest accrues over time. So how do we account for this? It's September 1st. We've got to account for the fact that cash goes up by $100,000 and this note payable goes up by $100,000. Cash is an asset. It increases with debits. Notes payable, any account that has the word payable in it, it's a liability account, must increase with credits. So we debit cash for $100,000. We credit notes payable for $100,000. And we tell our story in the memo section. We borrowed from First National 12% interest to do 1118. So we don't owe any interest on the day that we borrow the money, but on September 2nd, we owe one day's worth of interest. September 3rd, two days, and it accrues over time. So we could make adjusting journal entries every day, but let's say that this company just waits until the end of the year. So we get to December 31st, and now we have interest expense due for September, October, November, and December. So we owe four months worth of interest expense. We're not going to write the check until January 1st, but we want to be sure that that interest expense gets into the year 2017 because that's when we incurred that interest expense. So as of December 31st, we owe $4,000. How do we get $4,000? Again, the way I like to do it is I like to say the principal is 100,000. Principal times rate times 12% would be $12,000 for a year's worth of interest. You divide that by 12 to find out one month's worth of interest and you get $1,000. We owe interest for September, October, November, December. That's four months, so four times 1,000 gives us $4,000 worth of interest expense. When we're learning accounting, we almost always have these transactions at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month. But in the real world, of course, we'll calculate the interest that's due to the very day. So we debit interest expense because expenses are debits, expenses are debits, expenses are debits. Interest payable is a liability account. It increases with credits. So we credit interest payable for $4,000. And we make our little note to tell ourselves what we just did, and more importantly, tell the next person who looks at our books what we just did. Okay, let's pretend it's now January 1st. It's time for us to repay this loan. We owe $100,000 in principal and $4,000 in interest. Why don't you pause this video and see if you can figure out what that journal entry looks like. Okay, I hope you got it. Notes payable is a liability account. It had a credit balance of $100,000 to zero it out. We're going to debit it for $100,000. Interest payable had a credit of $4,000 to zero it out. We're going to debit interest payable for $4,000 and we're going to write a check for $104,000. Cash is an asset. Assets increase with debits, which means they decrease with credits. If this note had been due, say, February 1st, we also would have had to include another month, another $1,000 worth of interest expense as a debit and we would have written a check for $105,000. And so that's all there is to notes payable. We have to make adjusting journal entries to accrue for interest expense, 
Maybe we do that every month, maybe we do that every quarter, maybe we do it every six months, maybe we do it every year. It depends on the size of the company and it depends on how much debt they have. All right, I hope that uh, helps.